guys, this is Bitch Reviews and welcome to my channel. And today I'm back with another Disney classic storybook review. And on today's episode, I have Disney Pixar Finding Nemo classic storybook. So yeah, I had this book from a really long time uh, and I really wanted to review this book, but I had to wait until the Finding Dory release. But then again, when Finding Dory released, I got the book but I was so busy making some other videos. I just realized yesterday that I had not reviewed this book. So today I'm here with Finding Nemo and next week I would be showing you guys the Finding Dory storybook. So yeah, let us begin with this review. So on top here it says Disney Pixar Finding Nemo and there's a fish cut out on the O and we have a wave from the sea under Nemo and we have classic storybook on the red line. So down here we have Marlon, Nemo and Dory and their anomaly and the illustration is quite different than the movie. Uh, it's kind of a 2D illustration I would say. So down here it says Ladybird because these books are by Ladybird. So on the spine of the book as you can see it says Disney Pixar Finding Nemo and we do not have Ladybird down there. So at the back of the book as you can see we have the other characters from the movie, we have the cuttlefish, we have the seahorse and another tang fish I think. So on, to on top here it says Disney's classic storybook collection and we have the details. So if you want to read that please pause the video. And down here we have the barcode and it says Ladybird, copyright Disney and Pixar. And also we have Great Barrier Reef, Marine Park Authority, let's keep it great, www.reef.edu.au. So let us open the book and have a better look on the inside. So on the very first page we have the Disney classic characters like all the classic storybook has it. And in here we have Disney Pixar Finding Nemo, we have Marlin and Nemo from the very last scene and we have the manufacturing details about this book. So this book was printed and bound in Hong Kong but we have the ladybird from the you know press from the Australia. So it says first published in Australia by Penguin Books Australia 2003. So yeah, here begins the story. So if you want to read the story, please pause the video because I would be focusing more on the illustration, a little bit on the story and the paper quality. So yeah, the paper quality is a bit uh, a bit thicker than the classic storybook, but still thinner than the deluxe book and the paperback deluxe book that I had been showing you guys. So yeah, the story begins with Merlin and his wife Coral and they are having a baby, a lot of babies. But just at that time, a barracuda comes in and attacks them and all of the eggs are eaten and only one egg has remained. And that would be the damaged egg, who turns out to be more, uh, sorry, Nemo. So Marlin is a very pessimistic guy. I mean, he's very scared because he has lost his family and he did not want to lose his only son who has a gimpy fin because of the damaged egg. So yeah, Merlin was homeschooled and he wanted to go to the school, the real school this time. But Merlin was still worried about him. But he has to, I mean, he had to take his son to the school. So yeah, this is the school and Merlin is still holding his son's hand. There's the Mr. Ray, who is the teacher. There are the other kids and there are the two bullies over here. So yeah, the illustration do not match the movie, but I appreciate that Disney puts an extra effort to make out I mean these illustrations just for the storybook and I also saw the newer illustration I would call the deluxe illustration uh, that was in the Paragon's book the new movie collection series I think uh, I do not have that book but if I get them I mean if I get the book I would definitely show you guys so yeah Nemo was challenged by his friend but he was not able, about to cross the you know edge but his father not trusting his son Nemo kind of wants to prove that he can do things so in terms of doing that he is caught by a diver and taken away and Morlin has to now go find his son. So on his way he meets a fish named a blue tang named Dory who has the voice of Ellen DeGeneres who is like one of the really iconic character I mean iconic 
a personality. I really enjoy her show, and I really enjoy when she, you know, becomes Dory and starts to speak like Dory on the show as well. So I did not realize it was Dory until you know I actually was hearing Ellen, and she somehow, so I, I somehow, you know, managed to think like, oh my God, she is Dory. And later on, when I researched it, I found that she was Dory. So. Yeah, they go to a sharks, you know, convention. Convention, I mean intervention, where sharks are trying to be friends with the fishes, and they say fishes are friends. They are no food, <laughs> things like that. But when, you know, between a little turtle, Dory bleeds, and the shark Bruce, who is a great white shark, wants to bite off and take a little bite of Dory. So on the chase, so one of the under, I mean the mines inside this ocean bursts and all of them go off. So back in, you know, where Nemo was taken, he was now sold to a dentist and he's in the aquarium. He meets his new tank mates and they, you know, all have a plan to escape because he is about to be gifted to Darla, who is this evil kid who shakes the bag and kills the fish. So, yeah, here is Gil, who is an angel fish, I think. I'm sorry, if I'm turning the pages really quick, I'm really sorry. I hope you guys can at least pause it to, you know, read it. I love this shrimp or, you know, a prawn or anything. This is, he's really cute. And he is the, you know, kind of a cleaner out there. So Nemo it has to go through this fiery bubble thing, which sounded scary, but was not scary. And he was, he was named Sharkbait. And Gil is the mastermind who plans how to escape. And as you can see. So back in the ocean, Merlin and Dory are finding their way to find his son. So on the, you know, the diving glasses, they find an address that says PS42 Walby Way, Sydney or something like that. Yeah, exactly that. So they had to fight this anglerfish and they take help from the silverfish. I don't know what's their name. So they show them. They, sh they tell them to go under it, not over it, but Nemo, uh, sorry, Merlin kind of optimistic. He wants to take a safer place where they have to go through the jellyfish forest. And yeah, Dory kind of gets caught in it and Marlene has to save her. And here in the tank, Nemo is trying to, you know, go on with the plan, but it goes wrong and Nemo is sucked in. And look at him getting very scared. So back in the ocean, they are taken over by the school of turtles are crossing their way and they have to go to the EAC East Australian current and yeah they are on their way and they meet uh, one of the turtles son whose name is uh, I don't remember I think it's squirt or crush oh it's crush I think okay cross is the big guy squirt is the little guy so the story is shared, I mean, Marlin tells a story to the turtles, turtles tells the she seals, seals tell the dolphins, dolphins tell seagulls, seagulls tell pelican, and one of the pelicans knows the tank guys, so he shares the story and Nemo gets really excited. And then he, in his excitement, he, he is able to stop the filter, and the, the tank gets dirty. So the plan, the plan basically is, you know, they get the tank gets dirty, they get put in the, you know, uh, plastic bags and they would roll the plastic bags and escape. So if you have watched the movie, you would understand it. So yeah, on their way, mistakenly or, you know, <laughs> uh, Dory kind of asks a help, I mean, asks help to a whale in a whale voice and Merlin thinks she does not know how to speak whale. But the whale kind of swallows them act and actually he, the whale was giving them a lift. So the whale squirts them out and they are in the Sydney. As you can see. So on the tank, the doctor has replaced the old filter by a new one and he did not even have to clean it. 
So the plan failed and the doctor, I mean the Dar, it, it is the day when Darla comes in. So the Nemo is taken and put in the plastic bag and he acts being dead. So outside Marlin and Dory are on their way to finding Nemo. And they meet Nigel who is this friendly pelican who would help them. But since Nemo is acting dead, the, the dentist figures out that he cannot gift the fish to Darla. So he takes to you know flush it that's when the pelican comes in and everything disrupts so she gets the bag i mean i don't know how this twist came in over here because the bag is not broken it kind of falls down into a dentist's tools and it breaks so it's not shush i mean the, the darla does not shake the bag that much so that nemo would come out it's not like that so after that, Gil figures out that he, he has to jump out to save Nemo. So, yeah. So, Gil some, somehow manages to throw Nemo into the sink so that he would get back into the ocean. And Marlin somehow ha happens to see that Nemo is dead in the plastic bag. So he's kind of sad and Dory is kind of explaining that she wants to be with him but he wants to be left alone so yeah somehow Dory finds Nemo but she again forgets and she somehow reads somewhere Sydney and then she remembers everything. And while finding Merlin, Nemo and Dory, I mean Dory gets stuck into this fishnet so Nemo gets in to save them and they're all safe. And then they leave happily ever after. But the story the, does not end that much. I mean, they, the guys from the aquarium, they managed to, you know, come out into the plastic bags and they didn't know how to escape it. And they're, I think, in the, you know, the Finding Dory part as well. So, yeah. So the Disney classic characters again. And that ends the story. So, yeah. Here's my review to the Disney Pixar Finding Nemo classic storybook. So if you have any questions, please hit the comment section below. Please do like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next week on the Finding Dory classic storybook review. Until then, thank you so much for watching.